Hello guys, welcome back to the next tutorial. In this one, we're going to talk about loops. So let's get started and let's talk about what they are and how do we use them. So basically in Python till now, we were executing single statements, right? And if we need to do things repeatedly, we have to write statements again and again. So loops helps us in that thing. It helps us in executing statements repeatedly. And they kind of run infinitely. So we have two kind of loops, while loop and for loop. So if we've, in this one, we're going to talk about while loop. So the while loop runs infinitely. And then we have to use conditions to stop the execution of loops. So basically, we can control the flow of loops that how many times we want to run that ex statement, right? So if I want to run, if I want to run the statement 10 times, I can control it. So let's let's quickly take a look at it. Basically, there are some iterable items that we can run the loops on, which are strings, list, tuple, and dictionary. We can pretty much do loops on numbers. So these are the items on which we can iterate. And iterate means, yes, we are iterating over the items, right? When we are running them again and again. So we can iterate over the items as well. Other than the statements, we can iterate over the items. Like if the string is a combination. So a string is something like this, right? Hello world. So it's a combination of different characters. So there are different items that we can iterate over. So we can iterate over items. So these are the items in which we can iterate over. This is more uh, related to for loop and that we're going to look at it. So while loop works like this. So while and we can put a condition like maybe x is less than 10, right? And we have to put the colon and hit enter and you need to focus this indentation so anything that's indented will go under the while loop after the while loop right so the indentation and then i can print something like print uh, uh, value of x or something like that right value of x is uh, plus x right so and then first let's initiate x so i'm just gonna declare x equals to zero so if I run this code currently, what's going to happen right now is that it's going to uh, go infinitely. So this loop is an infinite loop. Why? Because we're declaring x as 0. I have to just cast it. So this is 0 and we are checking it if it's less than 10. So this is our condition basically. So while is the uh, keyword and the next thing we put is our condition. So we're putting the condition that if x is less than 10, then do something. And in this code block, we can write multiple line of code. We can write more things, one more line, maybe just like that, right? So we can write multiple lines of code and everything that is indented after while loop goes inside the while loop, right? So now x is never changing. It's always zero. So basically it's always 10. So it's going to execute again and again, and it's going to go to infinite. It's never gonna stop, right? So this is known as an infinite loop. If I wanna run it, let's run it. What's gonna happen is it's running, right? Even PyCharm says too much output to process. So it's good to stop it from here. So here you can stop it, stop while loop. So I just stopped it because we don't want to run it again and again, right? There's no, there's no point behind that. So this is how a while loop works, guys. So if I wanna stop this condition, what can I do? Basically what I can do is Maybe instead of just doing that, I can just say x equals to x plus 1. So what it's going to do is it's just going to add 1 to x every time. And when x becomes equals to 10, it's just going to stop the loop. So that's pretty simple, right? So these things are known as condition. So it basically decides whether the loop is going to be executed or not and when to stop the execution of the loop, right? So let's run the code and let's see. So right now it prints that value of x is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and till 9. Because we're stopping just before 10, we're checking if it's less than 10, then go inside it. If it's equal to 10, then do not go and anything beyond that, right? So that's how we work with loops, guys. So what I can show you is maybe just declare a list of numbers maybe. So one, uh, two, or you know what, maybe just declare an empty list and create a while loop to add 
to add to the list, right? So let's declare x or maybe y is less than 10. So what I'm doing is I'm checking if y is less than 10, then I'm gonna add to this list. So l dot append, and then I'm gonna append the number basically. So let's declare a num called zero, and I'm gonna append the number and i'm gonna increment num every time so plus equals one right so what we are doing here is where and we have to say oh basically we can just check for y instead of num so num sorry we can check for num instead of y yeah so what we are doing is we have an empty list up here we declared the num equals to zero and we are checking for num if num is less than 10 just go ahead and put it inside the list so and then increment the number right and then in the end off outside the while loop so let's print the list so if you see this print statement is outside while loop because it's in the same indentation as the while keyword it's not indented inside right so let's run the code or you know what first let's comment this one out so i'm hitting i'm selecting all hitting command and then the slash on mac to comment in the bulk right so let's run the code and it says at the end the list is 0 1 2 3 4 till 9 right and I can show print something up here as well so do let's print value of x is plus str and x or actually it's number we are using here not x value of num is this so let's run the code so it's going to print everything again and again so value of num is one and two and three so it's it's because we are printing after incrementing the value so it's showing us uh, one and all but if we print here it's going to show us the correct value so if i run it again i'm going to show you what's happening it just prints uh, value of num is zero one two three four till nine and at the end we are printing the whole list right so what we can do is we can iterate over item and we can add to list and we can do stuff if i have a list i can do that so all those sort of things we can do with the loops so loops are pretty helpful you're gonna do this a lot in your coding uh, and maybe more than while loops you're gonna be using for loops that we're gonna cover in the next lecture but yes here it is these are the loops so i'm just gonna upload the code on the web download it for your reference practice as much as possible and let me know if you have any questions so i'll see you in the next lecture guys stay tuned for the next one thanks for running this one Thanks, guys.